Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I'm reading Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. They sat in company with the others in other shanties, their eyes straining against the crude walls and their souls asking if he meant to measure their puny might against his. They seemed to be staring at the dark, but their eyes were watching God. I really enjoyed this quote because other than uh, sort of encapsulating what this story is about, about this struggle, it's also incredibly well written and I think that it gives some insight into how uh, Hurston develops this novel. Yes, perfect. The Rise We're Watching God takes place in two different locations, in Eatonville, Florida, and the Everglades, both sometime shortly after the Civil War. Our number one character in this story is Janie. She's a middle-aged woman, and she's uh, African-American, but she's different because she has long, straight hair, other than what would normally be seen on an African-American woman. The second character we want to look at is Jody, who is a strapping young man who's an entrepreneur and has a lot of money, a lot of wealth. Our third character is a man named T. Cake, and what he lacks in money and in education, he makes up in imagination and respect, especially for Janie. The plot is primarily about Janie and her exploration of herself and of the world around her. One of the most apparent themes of this book is the way that the different characters use power and, and control over others as a way of fulfillment and a way of uh, being in a relationship. So in my opinion, I didn't really like the book. I thought there were a lot of moments that were, I don't know, I didn't like the language, I didn't like the language of the book. The way that uh, Kirsten switched between the very vulgar and coarse and dumb language of the people of that time frame and then her very pedantic high-end language. The kind of people who would like this book the most would be people that enjoy uh, a lot of romance. Another reason why someone would like reading this book is if they really enjoy real dialogue because a lot of the characters in this book talk in a very particular slang uh, of that time period and it's very immersive to try to read. All in all, I give this book a 6 out of 10.